We are two months into 2025, and every major chip maker, be it Intel, AMD, or Apple, literally everyone is trying to dominate the laptop market by releasing ever more powerful chips. Now, these chips are game changers in every sense. Almost all of them is giving you great battery life, amazing iGPU performance, fantastic productivity capabilities, and last but not the least, improved AI features. Which is why today we are taking a look at the latest and one of the most powerful Intel chips for laptops. Meet the Core Ultra 9 285H, featuring a total of 16 cores and 16 threads. Also, the laptop you are seeing is not a production unit, but it is an engineering sample instead, as you can see written on the back of the laptop over here. Model-wise, this is actually the MSI Prestige 16 AI Plus laptop. Now, before we move on, you need to understand what's happening with the Intel's lineup of laptop chips and where exactly does this Intel chip sits in terms of price and segmentation. So let's quickly take a look at the Intel chip's family history. Starting with the basics, the 14th gen CPUs like the 14700H, 14900H, these are essentially refreshes of the 13th gen CPUs, so no major change here. But when we move on to the Meteor Lake, we get a brand new chiplet design. Now, here's a super easy way to understand why this is a better design. Think of traditional CPUs like a huge pizza with all the toppings baked together. If one ingredient isn't great or you want to change something, you have to remake the whole pizza. A chiplet-based CPU is like a pizza with separate slices, where each slice has a different function. One for graphics, one for processing, one for memory, etc. And so, if one slice needs improvement, you swap it out instead of remaking the entire pizza. Now, this makes chiplet CPUs more efficient, customizable and overall simply better, allowing companies to build faster and smarter processors without wasting resources. Chalo, with this explanation out of the way, back to the family history. So, the chiplet design of the Meteor Lake is continued into its successor, which is the Lunar Lake which is powering this thin and light Lenovo laptop over here. And Lunar Lake builds upon its successor by offering even more efficiency, more iGPU performance and an even better architecture. As now, the RAM module is directly baked onto the processor die itself, essentially making the memory super fast. And honestly, the chiplet design does bring sizable improvements. I have been using this device day in and day out. And let me tell you, it is consistently giving me 12 plus hours of battery life with full brightness and I can even run games on it while running on battery without any drop in performance. Lekin, that was just for thin and light laptops. Until now. Because now we have the Intel Core Ultra 9 285H, which stretches all the way from 35 watts to 115 watts. Matlab, Intel is trying to fit this chip into almost every kind of laptop from a thin and light to a creator laptop to even the high end gaming laptops that are big and chunky. Chalo, now that you are up to speed, let's see how the top spec Arrow Lake chip actually performs. And I will be comparing it with another MSI Prestige 16 AI Plus featuring AMD Ryzen AI 9 365 along with a Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i featuring the Core Ultra 7 258V. And for some tests, we will also include a VivoBook S15 featuring the Snapdragon X Elite chip in the mix as well. First up is the Cinebench R23 and in that, Intel clearly dominates and defeats the AMD Ryzen AI 9 and the Core Ultra 7 258V Lunar Lake chip. It is also important to note the power draw over here because Intel is doing all this by consuming around 53 watts of power which is more than the Ryzen and the ultra efficient 28 watt Lunar Lake chip. And next up is the Cinebench 2024 and in this one, the 285H is as powerful as the Snapdragon X Elite running at 45 watts, which is generally considered to be one of the best multi-core chips out there. Moving on to the productivity benchmarks and in photo, video and 3D rendering tests, the Core Ultra 9 285H dominates all these tests. But you also have to remember that Snapdragon X Elite is running the PC Mark 10 via an emulation layer. So its drop in performance is expected. And we can see the same thing in DaVinci Resolve in the real world, with the Core Ultra 9 285H exporting a 1.13 GB footage at 4K YouTube setting in just under 10 minutes. 
मतलब सो फार वी हैव सीन दैट द न्यू 285H इज सिंपली डोमिनेटिंग द चिप इज गिविंग ऑल ऑफ इट्स 53 थ्री वॉट्स टू आउट परफॉर्म द कॉम्पिटिशन एज इट लीड्स इट्स वे इन परफॉर्मेंस एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी Now when it comes to GPU performance things again remain the same in terms of outright synthetic benchmarks the 285H is still leading the pack and when it comes to actually running games in the real world the Arrow Lake iGPU is better as you see it scored the highest FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider when compared to the other laptops on this list In conclusion the Intel Core Ultra 9 285H is also a beast in terms of iGPU performance And so far we have seen that the Arrow Lake Intel chip is performing really great and dominating most of all the benchmarks but all of this is coming at a cost at least in this laptop the chip is continuously getting too hot reaching average cpu temperatures of 99 to 100 degrees when under load compare this to Ryzen AI9 and Intel's Lunar Lake chips and you'll find that they are running somewhere around in the mid 70s in terms of temperature so in conclusion intel really needed a champ for multi core workload and they have got it the core ultra 9 285h is undoubtedly powerful also i would like to see the 285h in a production ready unit especially one with dual fans to clearly assess how good its thermal performance can be because at the end of the day this is an engineering sample and i cannot truly say whether this is the best way to judge a really powerful intel chip especially in a thin and light chassis like this one i also think that in gaming laptops the 285h is going to be a killer offering but again the temperature problem is something that needs solving before any final judgment can be made thank you so much for watching my name is jitnesh dubey and i will see you guys next time